It's gonna be great. Hey team, good morning. Just thought I'd record a video. I am just going to do a Saturday in my life. Jake and I are gonna do some holiday shopping and run some errands, pick up some wine for our Christmas party that we're throwing and just do a bunch of other stuff. So I just thought I'd bring you guys along with me. I'm gonna get ready and then we'll head out. But yeah. Hello, I'm back. I'm in my car. I don't know why I just used British accent, but I did. Actually, I do know why. I'll talk about it in a second. But Jake and I just went to the Mother's Market in Bethesda. Oh my god, this is heavy. And we got a bunch of groceries, lots of good veggies. I'll show you guys what we got. We got these cute carrots. Cute, cute carrots. Look at that. Um, and then we got two onions. A bunch of garlics, check that out. And some potatoes, because who doesn't love potatoes, you know? I love potatoes. Um, and then our last thing we got, which is Jake's favorite thing, is this massive carrot. It's huge. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it in my thumbnail right now. Okay, so that's my carrot. But anyway, yeah, we got this huge carrot as well. Jake pet seat. Keep saying that we're gonna cook something tonight, and obviously we're gonna use these vegetables. We also got a baguette from this French bakery stand, and we got two meat pies and a little banana bread, but we gobbled those up so fast. Anyway, so Jake's just in the men's warehouse. He's returning two suits. Um, and then I think we're gonna go to like TJ Maxx and Nordstrom Rack and stores like that, both to return stuff and to buy more stuff. But yeah, that's what we're doing. I was watching one of Nana Florence's videos earlier. I don't know if you saw it. Um, Nana Florence is a British YouTuber in a university, and she made a video about the British elections and how uh, you know Boris Johnson won, um, and how she feels so discouraged and like everything is bad. And I know that feeling. Um, I don't know where you guys lie on the scale, but I personally voted for Hillary Clinton in the elections a few years back, and when she lost, I felt like the sense of doom. I felt like, like I couldn't believe that the majority of the country voted the other way. It just was so difficult for me um, in, the, in the days after, and I know for a lot of my friends it was very difficult. Um, so, Nana, we get how you feel, and I'm sorry that you're going through that right now. Honestly, it does get better. I have found happiness and, like, feeling fulfilled in working in policy. I don't know if that's the way you're going to go down, and I don't think it is, but I feel like I'm fighting back. I'm in Washington, D.C. now, working on passing policy that helps people, that, you know, saves lives, that helps those that aren't privileged and I think she said something really key as well she talked about how if this isn't about her she has privilege and she either way like whoever wants she's gonna be okay and I'm the same way I have privilege um, I have the privilege that I was able to get a university education that I have a good paying job I have benefits I mean things could change in like a the flip of a hat but um right now i am extremely privileged and you know whether president trump won or hillary clinton won i'm gonna be okay my concern is for the other people the downtrodden people the people who you know these policies are truly gonna affect the people who cannot help themselves because of policy but yeah i don't know um nana i'm so sorry you're feeling this way honestly um, you do feel better after a while, and yeah, Jake's back, so. Oh. Where are we going now? So much water in my shield. So much water. <laughs> Where are we going now? Where else do we have to go? I don't know. Do we have my TJ Maxx stuff? Yeah.
Okay, so we just got back from the store. So we went to TJ Maxx and Trader Joe's and we got some stuff that we needed. Um, I'm gonna show you really quickly some of the stuff I got. Um, <laughs> I got some little boy socks. That sounds weird. But I only wear boy socks because they make them better and they come in my size. My shoe size is size four. So yeah. Um, and then I got a pink Ralph Lauren shirt for Jake's brother for Christmas. Um, I got some Ardell Natural Multi-Pack Lashes because I want to learn how to do my eyelashes and I have no idea how because I'm a fake girl. And then I got a joke gift for Jake's dad. It's thickening fiber paste for balding heads. Is that how I make Jake's family hate me? I think it's going to work. And then Jake, this American Crew um, Control Foam. I don't know. I don't know anything about guys' hair. And then I got these hair clips. These are my favorite hair clips in the world. They sell them at Nordstrom Rack. And they also sell them on Revolve for like $30, which makes absolutely no sense because it's literally the same hair clip. Like down to like every little piece of it, it's the exact same hair clip. And then the last thing I got was this warming neck wrap um, for Jake's mom. Um, you can heat it up, you can cool it down, and I just think that's a nice gift. Um, I know I would want one because my neck is sore often, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I just got those things. And then I also received another package just now from Nordstrom Rack. And I think it has Jake's gift in it. One of Jake's gifts in it. I'm going to show you guys it. Because he never watches my videos anyway because he hates me. Um, so I just thought I would show you guys what it is. Because he doesn't want the videos anyway. Woo! But yeah, I don't know. It's been a nice day so far. I have honestly felt super bad for the past two days. Like, sick, but also... Oh, I also got... So I also got... The, oh, sorry, I'm like a fractured thinker. So I also got the Ordinary Salicylic Acid Mask. Because I'm trying to like be more proactive about taking care of my skincare. So yeah. Um, I also got men's samples. I had the option to get women's samples, but I'm selfless. You know, I just care so much about Jake and his welfare that I chose the men's samples just for him. But yeah, so this is what I got him for Christmas as well. So it's this jacket. He's actually right behind me in the kitchen, so I'm not going to say what brand it is. Um, this, these shoes are like, yeah. Um, so I'm not going to say what brand it, the shoes are. Um... I'm not gonna say what brand it is, but I will show you guys now. I don't know if you guys, everyone knows this brand, but I'll also write it down there. But I got him this black jack, black shoes. The boots. Are you gonna hear me? And they've got shearling on the inside. So I'll just try it on for you guys. I think he's gonna really like this, but um, it honestly just depends on the fit. Honestly, I'm like an extra, extra small, probably in men's, or extra, extra, extra small. But I just thought he would really like it. This, he really loves this color, and um, I, I just really hope he likes it. I don't know. But yeah, he's got this stuff. It's been a really good Saturday so far. I am just honestly gonna relax now and watch some television, play some games, um, and then tonight we're cooking soup with our landlady. I hate calling her my landlady. She's like not my landlady she's like very cool and we just live with her and then i'm going to be cleaning up a little bit i'm going to be getting stuff to sell on poshmark yeah it's my saturday i don't know i hope it goes well for the rest of the day Woo! i'm just gonna be wrapping some gifts right now jake i can't believe i'm giving your dad this uh hair thinning stuff okay the first thing i'm gonna wrap is this warming net rack neck wrap that i got jake's mom so yeah wrapped the first present it's not great on this side but this side looks fine now i'm gonna wrap jake's super secret christmas present jake told me everything i need to buy all of his christmas presents because i couldn't come up with anything to get him because i am a horrible girlfriend um but this one i bought on my own and hopefully he likes it i'm like my biggest fear about presents is that the person won't like it and um it'll be a failure. So I don't buy people presents because of that. It's gonna be great. A disaster. Okay, you guys, this one's definitely a failure. Looks okay from this side. <laughs> 
things aren't going well. Okay guys, so that's it for wrapping presents because I ran out of tape and that means it's the end. So Jake and I are about to go upstairs and we're gonna cook a pea and ham soup um, with the woman we live with. Hopefully it'll be really good. It doesn't sound great. Uh, I don't love peas, but you know, it's okay. But yeah, it'll be a nice way to end our Saturday evening in just a chill way. What are we making? Common pea soup. Mm. English style. English style, huh? Okay, so I just got back from eating dinner upstairs with Jake and the woman we live with. It was actually really good. Um, I have never liked peas really, but Jake is an amazing cook and I don't end up cooking any of it as usual. Um, and it was actually like really good and I enjoyed it and we just had like a nice chat with the woman we live with. And yeah, it was just a good evening. It was a good way to end our Saturday night. Um, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, I'm gonna just try posting every Sunday from now on, so just keep an eye out for that. Um, it would be great if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me with the algorithm. And yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun making these videos and I'm so glad people are actually watching them. Um, it's just really amazing to see the watch hours go up and it's crazy to realize that like people spent 15 hours watching a video and it's like, what? Um, I don't understand. But yeah, thank you so much for watching you guys. Bye.